Good afternoon reception, it's Mrs Taylor here. So this afternoon I'd like you to have a go at the whole school art challenge. And your challenge this week is to use some food to make a picture. I'm going to give you a few examples now. You don't have to do any of these, you can make up your own. Have a look at this one. What does it look like? That's right, it looks a bit like a butterfly to me, doesn't it? And what have they used to make this butterfly? I can see some grapes. How many grapes have they used? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And what have they used to make the wings? That's right, they've used some orange, haven't they? And a slice of orange cut up into halves. So maybe you could make a butterfly. You don't have to use fruit, you could use anything you like. Any other type of food. Have a look at this one. Oh wow, we've got a little bit of, looks like muesli there that the man is sitting on. He looks like he's made out of some peppers. We've got bits of celery for the water. And I think the fishes are some cereal. And the sun in the sky looks like a bit of pasta all swirled up. That's really imaginative. This next one, they've used seeds to make a really fancy picture of a cockerel or a hen, I think it is. Really nice, that's very complicated. I don't expect you to do anything quite as complicated as that, but it might give you some ideas to use some seeds. In this one, They've used some rice and they've coloured the rice. Now you could use food dye to colour your rice or you could use a bit of paint to colour your rice. But you don't have to colour it at all, you could just use your rice to make a picture. Here we've got a lion. And look what the lion's mane is made out of. Yes, that's right, it's made out of different coloured pasta shapes, isn't it? And we've got, oh, for his nose, we can, I can see some tomatoes and his eyes, definitely some cucumbers there. This is a nice one. This made me smile. All you need for this one is a slice of bread. His hair is made of some cress. And I think those are bananas for his eyes with maybe a sultana in the middle and his mouth looks like a piece of apple. <laughs> Look at this one. Again, it looks like a sandwich. So maybe you could do something with your sandwich at lunchtime. What have they made this into? That's right, it's an owl. I think in the middle for it, the owl's nose, it's a piece of cheese. Look what shape the piece of cheese is. It's a triangle. And all they've had to do is cut a bit of the bread to make the wings. I like that a lot. And then we've got a tree. We've got some cucumbers for the leaves. And I'm not sure they look like twiglets or something like that for the, the tree trunk. Yeah, I think that's it. Twiglets for the tree trunk. I like that one a lot. Wow, look at this one. They've used lots of peas to make the shape of a dinosaur. Wonder what this is? Looks like pepper or something for the fire coming out of the dinosaur's mouth. Or is it a dragon? Can't quite tell. Whatever it is, I like it. This one, we've just got some grains and pulses and they've just made a really nice pattern. Looks a little bit like a rangoli pattern. Again, we've got a different type of lion using pasta. And this one, a caterpillar. Do you know what the fruit is called that they've made the caterpillar's body out of? It's called kiwi. So those are our examples. Have a go at making a picture out of some food. It can be anything that you like. 
okay i don't want you going in mummy's cupboards without her permission so make sure mummies and daddies know what food you're using to make your picture with send us a photograph and post it on dojo okay thanks reception bye